Johnny, get your gun, get your gun, get your gun. Take it on the run, on the run, on the run. Hear them calling you. Welcome back to Frontline Rejects. Before we get started today, we'd appreciate it if you could help us out by hitting that like and subscribe button and by dropping a comment in the comment section below. And if you'd like to reach out to us directly, send us an email at frontlinerejects at gmail.com. The round we'll be testing today is Hornady's ELDX, specifically the 90 grain .243 diameter option, which we've got loaded up in 6mm arc. For those unfamiliar, the 6mm arc is a recent innovation by Hornady, which takes a standard .243 or 6mm diameter bullet and puts it in a cartridge short enough for use in an AR platform rifle. With our loading, we should be seeing around 2750 FPS at the muzzle, and we're very excited to see how the ELDX will perform. So let's get started. Yeah, man. First, uh, first expansion test on the 6mm. It's basically just a hipster's 243. <laughs> I like the ring off that brake. Yeah, no, I was just noticing that. That's character. Yeah. You want to jump the weatherman after this? You jump the weatherman, did you say? Yeah, jump the weatherman. You know, the best way I ever heard it put, and I can't remember where I heard it, is that the weatherman is the only person who's paid to be wrong. Yeah. Oh, 40% of raid for two hours. Yeah, 40% chance, bro. I mean, not like we're complaining or anything. We live in Washington, so it's like, you know, you gotta kinda expect it a little bit. <laughs> Excellent. Fantastic. Well, now that the rain's gone, we can get to the good stuff. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. So what was your favorite JLO item? Mark <sighs> Anthony, Ben Affleck, Ice Cube. Dude, Ice Cube. Ice Cube, all the way, yeah. Fucking love Ice Cube. Yeah, I wish they'd get back together. Good hit. Good hit. Sweet. Well, before I bring the rain back, hopefully we get this done. Yeah. <laughs> you still doing that keto thing with your girl, or are we going to get burgers? We're supposed to do it before we go to Mexico here. So I got a couple more days. That sweet, sweet carbs. Oh man, when I get back, yeah. <laughs> you just want to have a bubble gun on the beach, you know? Yeah, got some tortillas. Some uh, tacos on a corn tortilla, man. Yeah. Nice. Sweet. Nice, nice, nice. Man, I love this rifle. All right. Go for left trough? Yep, left trough. All right, man, 500 yards. Woo! Here he is. Almost done for the day. Yeah, you know, we got a rainbow to send us off. Oh, yeah. Weather's just been bonkers weird today. Yeah, what are you going to do? It's Washington. Yep. Beautiful state. Nice shot. Thanks, man. Time to go home. Yeah, let's go. A good while ago here on the channel, we tested the 200 grain Hornady ELDX to our 300 win mag. In fact, that was the first bullet we tested in that chambering, so it seems fitting that it's the first we run through our 6mm arc build. 
On top of that, the 6mm advanced rifle cartridge was developed by Hornady, and they load the 103 grain ELDX in their factory 6mm precision hunter ammo. Today we're testing the 90 grain though because it's more in line with grain weights that we're likely to actually use for hunting ourselves. And looking at the overall images here, I gotta say we're pretty happy with the results so far. At the 100, we had fantastic mushrooming, and like all the other ranges, we actually had the jacket retain the core, which is something we don't normally get with a non-bonded round, which makes it pretty exciting. You'll also notice here that the estimated impact velocity is given, and we calculated this using Hornady's own 4DOF ballistics calculator using the pre-programmed values for the 90 grain ELDX, along with our chronoed muzzle velocity and the relevant environmental factors on our shooting day. The 200 yard impact mimics the 100, very good pancaking, perhaps a tad less expansion, but still very impressive and again solid retention of the lead core. The 300 is still very much the same, good peeling back of the jacket on almost all sides, expansion ends about the same distance down the shank as the two earlier ranges, and of course good retention of all the major parts. The 400 is where we start to see some differences compared to the earlier ranges. We still have good expansion and the lead core is still being held tight by the jacket, but as we drop below an estimated impact velocity of 2,000 feet per second, we see the expansion ending higher up the bullet. Still a very clean result that we're quite happy with. Going into the 500, we have a little bit of mangling going on, not the cleanest expansion. We're guessing it may have begun to tumble, which is why we see disproportionately more tearing on one side of the projectile over the other. But the lead still flattens well near the top of the bullet, and at this velocity, it's still carrying enough energy to do some serious damage on the type of game you'd use it for. Moving on to our graphs, we have some pretty impressive results. Expansion at the 100 starts out around 2.3 times original size and decreases at each range consistently until reaching 1.5 at 500 yards. Now 1.5 times original size at 500 yards may not seem like a lot, but it is sort of my own subjective minimum that I want to feel confident in using a bullet on game, and the ELDX delivered at least that at all ranges. More importantly here, we have an extremely consistent distribution. At each range, the expansion steps down exactly like you'd expect it to. This is a fantastic result for a non-bonded bullet. This is also reflected in weight retention. We see at each range, as expansion decreases, weight retention increases in a mostly even distribution. We end up with an average expansion of 2.05 times original size and an average weight retention of 66.89%, which we're very happy with for this kind of round. When we ran the 200 grain ELDX through our 300 win mag, our muzzle velocity was much higher than with our 6mm arc, but at longer ranges, 3, 4, and 500 yards, we had lower impact velocities than we did at the closer ranges with the 6mm, but we had much more fresh Fragmenting. We're working on a theory which will require further testing that non-bonded controlled expansion rounds seem to stay together better or fragment less in narrower diameters. We've got 6mm nozzler ballistic tips coming up soon. It'll be interesting to see if this theory holds true for that bullet as well when compared to its 30 cal counterpart. Back to the ELDX though, I think this is a fantastic bullet for this chambering, although I think it suffers from a few outside factors. These are mainly due to the 6mm arc chambering being about 2 years old. The only load data we could find was published by Hornady and Hodgdon's load center. This is problematic in our opinion because Hornady's load data tends to consistently be much more conservative than other manufacturers. This means that published maximums may be well below what an actual safe max charge is, resulting in a hand loader not getting out of this cartridge what it is really capable of. This problem is compounded when using monolithic bullets whose expansion is entirely velocity dependent, and shooters need every last foot per second they can safely get to ensure sure expansion at range. In our testing so far, Hornady's new CX bullet seems to open up at very low velocities, so it may work a bit better in chamberings like the 6 mil arc or other medium velocity cartridges. Hodgdon provides some theoretically hotter loads, but they list a test barrel of 24 inches, whereas Hornady's is an 18, making Hodgdon's data more relevant for bolt action users and Hornady's more relevant for those running gas guns, which is actually what Hornady lists the data as being for. This will become much less of an issue in the future when other manufacturers such as Barnes or Nosler publish load data for the cartridge, especially for those trying to work up loads with those manufacturers' bullets. These are more critiques of the cartridge though and not the round. I think the ELDX is a great option for an all-around good hunting bullet that most hunters could use to cover their bases on a variety of game. It expands well, so you can expect it to dump energy and cause very effective soft tissue damage. It retains weight well, so it's got the ability to carry that weight and cut a deep wound channel. And it expands well at relatively low velocities, so hunters with moderate velocity cartridges can ethically take shots at several hundred yards, and those with hotter chamberings can successfully reach out a good bit further. Another very important factor is cost. If you're hand loading a one 100 round box of ELDXs in 243 costs just a hair over 40 bucks where we're at, which is very affordable considering the performance and when compared to other bullet options. 
The prices are also very fair in other diameters and weights. I personally run monolithics in most of my hunting rigs, and I accept the caveats related to using those. But for someone who's looking for a reliable, affordable, consistent, and highly accurate hunting bullet to do pretty much anything you need to do in North America, I would feel comfortable recommending the Hornady ELDX. The ELDX performed well in all ranges, and I'm looking forward to testing it in several other chamberings as well. We're going to do a 5 cartridge review on the ELDX, so we'll be sourcing bullets for at least 3 more chambers. If you'd like to see those tests and others, help us out with a like and make sure you hit that subscription and notification bell. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.